Bom, estamos de volta aqui no The Walking Dead, terceira temporada, A New Frontier. Vamos estar tá continuando aqui o episódio 1. Continuar o episódio 1, vamos embora. Eu espero que eu consiga postar hoje, ainda domingo, manos. Estou gravando a parte da manhã de domingo. Espero que eu consiga gravar agora e dê tempo de eu renderizar o vídeo e upar para o YouTube. O problema não é nem essas opções, o problema é o YouTube processar, mano, a qualidade do vídeo. Então talvez saia um pouquinho mais tarde. Ok. Legal, né? Tipo um barzinho, mano. Uns bagulho meio pós-apocalipse. Esse jogo aqui tá bem interessante, mano. Já se passa muito tempo depois do, do que começou a infecção. Então, obviamente, é como se começar a ter algumas cidades mesmo. Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. Olha, um fliperama. A galera na escada ali. Tem um aqui que já tá meio beudo. Ah, eu pergunto onde eles encontraram esse velho coisa. E os gráficos desse jogo também tá bem interessante, né, manos? Vocês estão curtindo, guys? Ah, ia falar pra vocês também, tá saindo série de Uncharted 3 no canal aí. Ou é o vídeo das 11h30 da manhã. E eu peço que vocês deem uma chance pra eles, mano. Eu sei, essa série foi gravada há 4 meses atrás, tá? Aí chegou o lançamento do... Agora for Ragnarok, comecei a focar no God Ragnarok, aí depois terminei de postar é, Minecraft Dungeons, é, comecei a postar os The Walking Dead e agora sim tá saindo o Uncharted 3. E depois que a gente terminar daí o The Walking Dead, eu começo o Uncharted 4. Mas peço que dê uma chance aí, mano. E não se esqueça do like, se inscrever no canal se vocês estão curtindo a série aí. E compartilhar com os amiguinhos também. Essa aqui não foi a mulher que chegou de cavalo, mano? Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Eita! Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> And that got a lifetime ban? Nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place. I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? I don't see jogar poker, man. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. I don't really gamble anymore. Went all in on the wrong hand once. It's okay, hun. I got this one. Raise. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Não entendendo nada. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, calm down, both of you. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already commented on how you're treating me, man? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh yeah. And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Cause I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. 
Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. Meu Deus, que minha time. Se uma dessas disparar, vai dar uma merda. A sorte é que falhou. Que isso? Meu Deus, que cara retardado, velho. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Toma na cara, yo. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so... Meu Deus, a Clementine vai pegar uma bala que vai atirar, velho. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. Falei, eu falei. Oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Oh, hey, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got doidona, man. Obviamente que uma bala funcionar, velho. Meu Deus, mano, que bosta, velho. Ah, punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was um that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Ela ajudou a gente lá, né, mano? Em troca do furgão, mas ajudou. A gente gosta do Clementine, velho. Hello? Olá, senhorita. I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? That's like she? bad behavior or something. I've never understood it. Yeah? Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking. What did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that you went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. Fuck that bastard. Hey, okay. If you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's, if there's anything I can do to help, well, not that I have much to offer you, but I know a thing or two about losing family. If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor, you done yet? Just about. 
All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms, and on my timeline. You got me? Nah, no way. I need to get back on the road ASAP. Javier, I am not negotiating here. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. It's too risky, and if Muertos were to somehow surround us, we... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... she's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Caralho, velho. É, foi um papo meio estranho mesmo, velho. Ela ofereceu ajuda do nada, mal conhece a gente, olhou meio estranho pra Clementine, a Clementine falou confia mais no Trip, que é o barbudo lá, né? Eu vou confiar na, na Clementine, manos. Mas digam aí, o que, que vocês fariam? Iria agora à noite com a, Clem com a Eleonor? Ou amanhã de manhã com o Trip? O problema é que isso aqui pesa muito. Por quê? A gente pode ir amanhã com o Trip. Alguém da família do Javier pode ter morrido. A gente pode ir agora com o Eleonor e evitar essa morte. Ou sei lá, velho. Ou alguém pode morrer que, de... que a gente indo à noite à noite com aquele monte de Walker. Ah, sei lá. Vou... Eu vou confiar na Clementine, mano. Você está certo. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. Ei, Clementine tá gostando da gente, hein, mano? Nearly blew my head off. Yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. E ela ainda tem esse boné, né, mano? E flashback, né, pelo jeito. Ah. Eu não curto muito flashbacks em jogos, manos. Pra ser bem sincero. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. E nesse jogo eu tô curtindo um pouco menos porque. Olha o Kenny como tá diferentão, mano. Tô com medo do. dos dois ter morrido aí, a gente sabia agora. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, alright? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I wanna do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. Caraca, o Kenny ficou com eles até esse tempo todo. O que, que aconteceu com o Kenny, mano? Eu não consigo ele falar. É unusual para a sua idade. Bem, o heater está quebrado. Ele está quente. Só faz sentido ir para a Florida mais rápido do que depois. Deixe tudo esse chão por trás, certo? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Are you sure Florida's better? I'd rather be scared and warm than scared and frozen. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. É, a gente tá na área do Kenny. O Kenny também era um pescador, né, mano? Então ele sabe o que ele tá falando. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. 
there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I... I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. A duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but... something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and <laughs> look how he turned out. Crap! Quebrou a direção do carro? Mano. Alguém voou pela janela. Meu Deus, o AJ sem cinto. Ah, ele tava com cinto. O Kenny voou pela janela, mano. Meu Deus do céu, velho. Kenny! Ah, meu Deus do céu, velho. Oh shit. Are you okay, Kenny? I'm fine. I'm fine. Is AJ okay? Shit. Help me up. Caralho, Kenny. E tinha um monte de zumbi vindo, mano. I don't feel anything. Th that's good. Oh, Clem, I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just quebrou a coluna, mano. Get up. God damn it. Well, I, I can get you into the car. I don't. <clears throat> Shit. This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey, hey! Stay away from him! You gotta go help AJ Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No, Clementine, no! There's no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! Ah, mano, olha o jeito que os caras mataram o Kenny, coitado, velho. Você não tinha nenhuma arma pra matar ele, Clem. Meu Deus. Caralho, velho. Que jogo filha da puta, mano. Nossa, velho. O jogo... Tudo que a gente passou com o Kenny no final do último jogo. Hey, Clem. We almost there. Hey, Clem. Que aí, cadê o EJ, velho? Olha o braço dela. I got a Ela mesmo costurou, mano. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh yeah? Yes, sir. Ah, mano, eu fiquei bad agora nesse episódio, mano. Why she went to bat for you? I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you, and you don't know her for that matter. No, there's not much mystery to it, Trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. Guys, that's the place. Oh shit. Caralho, Kenny, mano. O jogo vai tomar no cu. What a mess. Porra, velho. Na... na moral, mano, eu tô muito. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Você vai levantar, né, o filho de uma puta? Mariana. 
Moriana's tape player. Moriana? Moriana, are you here? Javi. Ela fez o que ele pediu, mano. Entrou no carro e não saiu até ele chamar. I just listen to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. Then I heard your voice. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. Then that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. Eu ainda tô na bad com a do Kenny, mano. Então eu vou descontar nesses zumbis todos. Toma. Vai, Clementine. Mano, coitado da Clementine, né, mano? Eu falo, velho. Eu falo que... Quer sobreviver, fica longe da Clementine, mano. Eu achei que ela ia ser mordida. Será que eles foram mordidos? Javi, você encontrou-nos. Ei, ei, está tudo bem. Ela foi mordida. Eu te feliz de me ver? Gross. Come on. Eu acho que temos um pass. Oh. I wanted to come after you. I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. I thought we were done for. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. Must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or? Are you gonna make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. Clementine tá com escopeta. De todos aqui, a Clementine é mais zica. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even like lukewarm water would be okay. Ah, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Trip? <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out. I thought you'd been to this place. I, yeah. I just, I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi. Mano, deu bom, cara. You know, a gente confiou na Clementine e ninguém morreu. Que coisa maravilhosa, né? Difícil de acontecer. And you found him alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. Guess I'm a lucky guy. Luckier than anyone I've ever met. Ah, for going to get back to Clementine. You still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. That van was the only ride I had a lead on. So maybe it's time to renegotiate. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but cool. Take a shot. Doce? Ah, o fone dela. Thanks. Mari! Meu 
Deus do céu. Cara, que isso, mano? Meu Deus, mano, era só, era só uma criança. Os caras tiraram uma criança, velho. Ai, meu Deus do céu. Por que, que... Eu abri a boca cedo demais, né, mano? Stop! Stop! Vai morrer todo mundo, é isso? Tira de volta, dá supressão antes dos caras virem. Pegou a irmãzinha dele, mano. Ah, vai tomar no cu o jogo. Que, que episódio é esse, mano? Jesus. Jesus, eu tô tão. Ela só. Eu sei, Harvey. E vai ter tempo para tudo isso. Mas não agora. Kate precisa de um doctor. O que significa que nós temos que ir. Nós temos uma aqui, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna kill all of them. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you wanna do what's right for your family, you'll come with me. Leva eles, oh, Trippy. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here right now. I already right now. killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No, uh, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please. Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, please come with us. Eu vou matar todo mundo. Eu tô puto, velho. We'll cover you. Javi, go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Eu matei todo mundo, né? Pode falar. Acabou o episódio? Nossa, não tá bugado esse. Que maravilha, meu Deus! Nossa, que episódio, mano. Foi até curto demais, né? Deu uns 28 minutos, mano. É porque o primeiro, o primeiro demorou quase uma hora, velho. Meu Deus, cara. Esse episódio me torturou em meia hora. Parecia que tava passando, passando uma eternidade de tortura, velho. Vamos pras, pras porcentagens, então, rapaziada. Eu ainda tô abalado com o Kenny, tá? Ainda tô abalado com o Kenny. A gente salvou ele. Passou por tudo aquilo pra morrer dessa forma. Foi... Pra mim, foi uma facada no coração, mano. Vamos lá. Você pernoitou no ferro velho? Você e 45.4% dos jogadores decidiram voltar para a estrada. Eu achei que seria a melhor opção, né, mano? Porque ele tava com muito cara de que era uma casa de alguém. Ficar ali era trombar os caras. E olha que eu tentei ir embora aí que a gente trombou os caras também, né? Se a gente ficasse, a gente ia ser mais pego de surpresa ainda. Talvez alguém teria morrido se eu ficasse, não sei. Caso vocês fizeram essa outra escolha de ficarem lá, comentem no... Deixa nos comentários aí o que que aconteceria. Você tirou em Rufus ou deixou ele escarpar? Você e 47.8 dos jogadores decidiram decidiram atirar no Rufus. Caraca, mais da metade não atirou. Será que dava? Ah! Na hora eu nem pensei, mano. Talvez dava para usar, dava para usar ele como moeda de troca, né? Como refém lá pro, pro, pros bandidos. Ah, eu meti bala mesmo, velho. Qual foi o resultado do tiroteio? Você e 94,3% dos jogadores ficaram, ficaram trancados. 5,7% foi com a Eleanor. Foi, foi meio estranho, né? Depois que a Clementine falou também que ela não faria... Era difícil ela ter fa é, fazer a, a, tal, a tal atitude, né? De querer desobedecer o trip e sair à noite. Eu preferi é, confiar na Clementine. Quem levou você até o ferro velho? Você e 49% dos 
0.7. Ah, não. Ok. A porcentagem aqui foi de ter ficado do lado da Clementine e ficar trancado junto com ela. Ok. A gente defendeu a Clementine. A gente tem uma história com ela, mano. Quem levou você até o ferro velho? Um pouco mais da metade. Porcentagem mínima aqui. A mais. Foi com, com a Eleonor, né? A gente foi com o Trip. Eu preferi com, é, confiar na Clementine, né? Você, você fugiu com sua família ou ficou com Clementine? Nossa, Clementine ia ficar sozinha se a gente fosse com eles? A gente ficou pra ajudar. Mano, mas... Imagina a gente fosse pra lá e do nada a Clementine, a Clementine aparecesse viva lá, manos. Eu digo isso porque eu sei que tem um, a quarta temporada que é com a Clementine. Então, obviamente, ela não ia morrer aqui. Mas com o Berez, ela ia ficar à, à vista de todos, né? Ela ficou sozinha contra um bando de capanga e voltou viva ainda. A gente ficou e tretou, né, mano? Não tinha como. Essas foram as escolhas, então, rapaziada. Comentem o que vocês acharam. Comentem o que vocês fariam de diferente. Caso vocês fizeram alguma é, escolha diferente da minha jogatina, comenta o que aconteceu, manos. O que, que aconteceria de diferente. Beleza? Vou ficando por aqui, então. Tchau. Até o próximo vídeo.